Hi everybody, this is Alex from Rundeck. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a new feature in Rundeck 2.10 that lets you edit the ACLs from the UI. Uh, this prevents you having to log into the Rundeck server and edit the file on the file system or have to do it through the command line tool. Um, here we have a couple of projects, Anvil's Online and eOptions, and when you're organizing your ACLs, really they kind of go in two parts. One is the system level, which the administrator would take care of, and I'll move over there. Uh, these are what we call the system level ACL policies. And I've created two policies, one for each of those projects, Anvils and eOptions. And what, what kind of policy does an admin normally have to worry about when bringing on a, a team is <clears throat> letting them get access to a project and, um, and there's a little description here saying uh, that. Most of the times the projects have their own set of keys that's related to them, so it provides uh, access to those paths. And uh, you know the administrator doesn't want to have to manage ACLs that are project specific, so they can delegate that too. So that's a summary of uh, the, uh, the policies here, and I can edit this. And you can see we get a, a nice little text editor that shows each of those rules. And if you hadn't known, you can have more than one rule in a file just by putting this little delimiter here. And, um, and Rundeck will read the description and, and who it's for in that summary. Um, it does provide a little bit of, of syntax checking too. So for example, if I thought it was the word groups rather than the word group and I try to save it, it won't save an invalid file. And so we see that here. And then down below, you can see it's given us a little message about it doesn't know about this property called groups. So this can help you um, if you're not uh, really that familiar with the, the syntax. Normally, somebody um, just kind of boilerplates these kinds of uh, policy docs when they bring on a new project. So when they create a project, they might have some other templates that go into the project, but oftentimes they're, they're generating one of these for that project. So what does it look like if you're a project administrator? So let's go over here to Anvils. And um, under the project menu there, you have access control, similar to what you just saw. But now you can see they're named more by the type of role the person is. So we have people in ops, we have people in dev, and then we have defaults that will apply to either ops or dev. Let's just go in here and take a look. In this first example, we can see that um, Ops is allowed to run steps on any node. So it's not qualifying what nodes they can be. It means any node, and you're allowed to run them. They're also allowed to run and read all jobs. Again, you know, we haven't clarified if there was a specific job. This says all jobs. They're not able to edit, create, or any of those kinds of changing of a definition of a job. Um, that would be for a role maybe um, somebody else is going to manage. Let's take a look at another example. Here's the one for dev. Dev's a little different. They're allowed to run steps on any node that has this tag. So that's a way of limiting access. They could still see those nodes, any other nodes, but they can't run steps on on any except for those that are tagged with that tag there. And then likewise, they can run some jobs. Actually, they can run one job here called the web status job, uh, but uh, they can't change it. And then finally, they're able to read the job definition for this web restart job, but they can't run it. So maybe the scenario is they need to see the history of that job, need to know the current definition of the job, but um, they need ops for basically to, to run something like that for them. So just some examples of how you could define roles for, for different types of people in your, in your project. <clears throat> and if you have any um, rule, whether it be to allow something or deny something for everybody, then you can create like a default policy like I have here. In this case, we're basically saying anybody uh, in the Anvils group, which is a, is a super group of the other two, can see all the nodes. And um, 
and likewise see all the activity. So, you know, you'll do what makes sense for your, your environment, but if you have uh, something that covers everybody, you can create a convention like this one where you have like a, a default. So that's our quick introduction to the new ACL editing capability. Um, you can see this in Rundeck 2.10. You'll also see this in the new version of Rundeck Pro. And just to give you a little preview, uh, Rundeck Pro will give you a few extra features for uh, generating rules like the ones we just talked about and giving you some more reporting about who has what access in what uh, context. Well, thanks everybody. This was Alex.